I am going to be speaking about the life of Maximilian Kolbe and how he expresses the fruits of the Holy Spirit in his every in his in his everyday life and in his hours before death. Maximilian Kolbe was born in eighteen ninety four in Poland. Maximilian Kolbe had a vision of the Mother of God, and in his vision he saw her arms extended towards him, holding two crowns, one white and the other red. After his visions, he dedicated his life to Christ, and he joined the Franciscan order, and later he became ordained as a priest. In his Franciscan order, he created an association called the Militia of Mary Immaculate, which is dedicated to promote devotion to the Mary Mother of God and bring others close to Christ as a church. He went to Japan to extend his mission and he built a church there. He also went to India and he furthered his movement and built a monastery there as well. But he became gravely ill and he developed tuberculosis, so he had to return back to Poland, where he came home to surprise where it was the beginning of World War II. And here we have Nazi Germany and Hitler. Hitler did not like the Jews or anything. He was taking over control over all of Poland, and he was... Um, he was taking control and he was killing either Jews, he was either exterminating, killing them, putting them in concentration camps. And Christians as well, Catholics, were not able to practice their faith either. They are being stopped. Like Pope John Paul II, he was stopped too. Just like what he had to go through, Maximilian had to go through. And so he wasn't able to practice his faith or he would be able, he would be punished. But he was. Maximilian Kolbe was captured and he was arrested and he got locked up but he got out and but he got out and he got captured again but this time they sent him to Auschwitz. Auschwitz was a horrible concentration camp, one of the worst ones and there it was horrible. People died on the way there. There was no room for anyone in the cattle train thing where they kept the cows. That's where they got them on the railroad, and people died on the way there because there was no room. And once you got there, everybody was stripped of all their belongings, all their personal belongings, and they were treated horribly. And once Maximilian arrived there, he was stripped of all his clothing and everything that represented him as a person, and he became, he was, they made him feel like a nobody. And they made him put on a uniform with a pink triangle on it that symbolized that the Nazis used to tell our prisoners that were homosexual, but Maximilian Kolbe was not homosexual. Maximilian Kolbe, uh, come, a prisoner had escaped in out of Auschwitz, and in retaliation for that escape, the, the guards, the Germans, the Nazi German, Germans, um, they wanted to retaliate, so they grabbed. Ten people from Maximilian Kolbe's cell block, and they were going to put them to death. And Maximilian Kolbe saw that one of the people that they were going to put to death was a father and a husband. And so he said, I will step in for his place and I'll die. And so the Germans, they were, they didn't care. They agreed. And so they stripped him and the other nine of all their clothes, and they were going to put him to death. And so they took him to a cell block where they were butt naked and they put him in there to starve. But, um, they, uh, because of the thirst and neglect, only a few of them died, but the Germans were getting frustrated with how long it was taking them to die. And so they took the remaining that were alive out and they put them, they ended up killing them with lethal injection instead. So Maximilian Kobe died on August 4th, 14th, in 1941. He died. 
and so he expressed the fruits of the Holy Spirit because of his courage, of how he took place and died for Christ in place of that poor man who was going to die for no reason, and he had a family and children, and he became a martyr, and Pope John Paul II canonized him in 1982. His feast day is August 14th, the same day that he had died. And so Maximilian Kobe became a saint.